Hello everyone. So I assume if you're watching this video or tutorial that you're studying for the RD exam. Now I know research methods is not our favorite topic, but I promise you if you memorize this first page from the weakest to the strongest type of research, you're going to do just fine. So to start off, your weakest type of research is going to be your case study or case report. You might have either of those names, so don't let that confuse you. And these are going to be your rare slash new diseases. And essentially, it's going to have like one person or a few people. And it's going to describe, keyword describe, the patient's condition. Okay? Then we're going to move on to our cross-sectional. And the key things that you need to know is that it's going to be a snapshot in time. It's going to determine prevalence. So what does prevalence mean? They already have the disease. So whether they have obesity, diabetes, uh, gastric cancer, you're going to see that in the type of questions. Okay. Then we're going to move on to your case control. And your case control is going to be a retrospective study, but it's also going to compare two groups. Two groups, one with the disease and one with the out. Okay, and that, how I remember this is case control, CC. Case control compares two groups, with the disease and without disease. Now we're going to move on to our cohort, which is going to be a bigger type study. So this is usually going to... Um, this is going to be a large study group, it's, and it's going to follow for a long time. Now, this can be retrospective and prospective. So the key thing that you need to know is that it's going to be a study over incidence. So what does incidence mean? So these patients are going to be exposed to something. So, like, cigarette smoke and lung cancer, or high-fat diet and gastric cancer, okay? And now we're going to move on to our random control trial. And this is going to be our strongest study, and this is going to be analytical, Key things that you need to know is a random control trial will have a treatment and control. And it's going to quantify something. Okay, so treatment and control. So let's just kind of briefly go over this again. Your case study case report is going to be rare or new disease. Your cross-sectional is going to determine prevalence. So the type of question, they're already going to have the disease already. You're just determining the prevalence. Case control is determining risk factors or associations. And it's going to compare two groups. Case control, CC, compares with the disease and without. Cohort is going to determine incidence, and they're going to be exposed to something, whether it's a high-fat diet, cigarette smoking, things like that. And your random control trial is going to be a very um, long and large study. It's going to have a treatment and control. So let's go ahead and go over some examples so you can use this in practice. Now, before you 
answer questions on the RD exam. This is three questions that I asked myself to be able to answer the question right. Question number one, is this an observation? or quantifying something? Is it comparing two groups? Remember what we said? Case control compares two groups. And then is this a study over incidence or prevalence? So let's go on to our examples. So our cross-sectional study, this might be an example. Percentage of school-aged children with obesity. So obesity, obviously this is prevalence because they already have the condition, okay? So we can circle that. So we already kind of know that your cross-sectional study is going to determine prevalence. But you can go over the questions as I had earlier. Is this observing? Yes. They're obviously not doing an experiment on these children. So it's going to be an observation. Is it comparing two groups with the disease or without the disease? No. So you're just going to know that it's a cross-sectional study. Let's move on to the case control. Dietary risk factors for gastric cancer, or it might say associations between colon cancer and high fat diet. Patients with the disease and without were recruited. So that's going to be your key words that you need to look for. Okay, so we already know if this study included patients with the disease and without disease, then we already know it's a case control because case control compares. We can also go over the questions. Is this an observation? Yes, we're observing risk factors and associations. Is it comparing? Yes. They're comparing patients with the disease and without the disease. Is it determining incidence or prevalence? No, it's determining risk factors and associations. Let's go over to cohort. Cohort is going to be your uh, larger type study, so they may have like a number of participant, participants <laughs> in the study, and it may say a large study, but anyway. Um, so a cohort study can be a group of people, I should say a group of people or subjects, and they're going to have, um, they're going to be very similar group, okay, they're not going to be different. Cigarette smoking and lung cancer. Okay, so they're going to follow people that are exposed, exposure, and this is the outcome. Okay, so what are we looking at? Cigarette smoking is an exposure, so it's going to determine your incidence of smoking and lung cancer. So let's go over the questions. Is this an observation? Yes. We're not doing an experiment. It's not a treatment. There's not a control group. Are we comparing groups of people? No. It's a group that are very similar. Is this incidence or prevalence? It's incidence because there is an we're following an exposure to cigarette smoking and then we're going to determine whether a certain group, whether these patients are getting lung cancer because of cigarette smoking. Now we're going to go to random control trial. 
a clinical trial evaluating vitamin D supplementation in older adults for bone health. Subjects were randomly assigned. Those are key words. Randomly assigned, random control trial to a treatment and control group. Well, sorry, we already know. Let's see, observation or quantify. Well, we really don't know if it's quantifying anything. Is it comparing? We don't know if it's quantifying, but it could be because there's a treatment and control group, which we already know that's a random control trial. Number three, incidence or prevalence or prevalence. So that would be no, no. So, but we already know it's, it's a treatment and control group. So we already know it's going to be a random control trial. Some other key things that you need to know for the RD exam. Uh, you might have questions like this. Your obser like what is an observational study? Just know you're going to be observing something. Okay. There's going to be no intervention. So the key word that you have to look for is observing. So what is a experimental type of study? You're going to have a treatment and control. Treatment, control, and there's going to be intervention. Now we're going to move on to a descriptive study. And just like the keywords right there, descriptive study describes. It's usually like a narrative, kind of like a story. Um, there's gonna be interviews. Let me put that on there. There's gonna be interviews, observation, questionnaire, or survey. Other key thing that you need to know is that a descriptive study generates a hypothesis. It determines who, what, where, when, but not why and how, like an experimental study. So let's go over the last three things that we went over. Your observational study observes. There's no intervention. It's not analytical. Experimental. There's going to be a treatment and control, and that's going to be your intervention. Descriptive study describes there's going to be some sort of narrative, interview, survey, generates hypothesis. And that is it. Um, if you have any questions, you can just comment below. And thank you for watching and good luck on the RD exam.